Now, from today, families will have their legal issues heard in just one court in England and Wales instead of three. It's hoped the shake-up will reduce excessive delays. Divorce lawyer Marilyn Stowe is in our central London studio. Good morning to you. Uh, what was wrong with the previous system? What were the flaws? Lots of delay. Um, the idea is that when you're dealing with a child, you need to get the whole thing dealt with as quickly as you possibly can. And so today is actually a bit of a revolution in family law and the practice and procedure in the courts. And I think it's a very good thing and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works in practice. Was that primarily the, the reason for bringing about this change to, to aid children that, that find themselves in this situation? I think that you've got to divide um, child cases between public law and private law. I'm a private law practitioner and I think it's fair to say that with the removal of legal aid um, from many people who were previously eligible for it and the recession, lots of people have decided to go to court themselves and do the case themselves. And what's happened is the courts have got very clogged up with people who aren't lawyers, who don't know particularly what they're doing, and are desperate for an adjudication. So something had to be done about it. And um, what we're going to see today is, I think, a lot more involvement of magistrates' courts um, and um, also references to mediation. It's compulsory now that you've got to go to a meeting to consider whether or not you are actually going to be suitable for mediation going forward. Will some people, though, see the, the mediation process as, as a waste of their time? People who are absolutely certain that they, they want to, to, to split their family and they see it as, as wasting time actually having to mediate with a partner they simply don't want to be with? Um, you don't have to mediate. You've got to attend a meeting to, dis to decide whether or not you're suitable uh, for mediation. And um, history tells us that most people aren't suitable for mediation and they go to court. I'm actually quite a supporter of it, but I support it at the right time when I think people's minds are concentrated, they might have a hearing coming up in court. And, and at that point, I think it can be very useful. Okay, Marilyn Stowe, Divorce Lawyer, thank you for your expertise this morning. Thank you.